lowering the costs, giving people more choices, having patience and control, and universal access to care. Let me walk you through how exactly we propose to do this. Speaker Paul Ryan, or perhaps exactly Professor Ryan, is making a big pitch for the Obamacare replacement bill. He turned his regularly scheduled press conference into a lecture on health care reform, complete with PowerPoint slides and rolled sleeves. But he isn't trying to win over Democrats. He's trying to rally his fellow House Republicans. We as Republicans have been waiting seven years to do this. We as Republicans who fought the creation of this law and accurately predicted that it would not work, ran for office in 2010, in 2012, in 2014, and in 2016 on a promise that we would, if given the ability, we would repeal and replace this law. This is the closest we will ever get to repealing and replacing Obamacare. Some conservatives, like members of the Freedom Caucus, have been skeptical about the replacement bill, called the American Health Care Act. They argue it doesn't repeal enough of the original law and creates new entitlements through tax credits. If you just look at the bill text, the very first paragraph says it amends the Affordable Care Act. It doesn't repeal it. And so the American people want us to repeal it and replace it with something that is different. House Republicans can't afford to lose more than 22 votes on the bill assuming that all Democrats vote against it. And with outside conservative groups also voicing concerns, the pressure is on Ryan and other GOP leaders to get everyone on board. A political action committee closely aligned with Ryan is also set to begin airing ads in the districts of 30 Freedom Caucus members, urging their constituents to call in support of the bill. Tell Congressman Labrador to vote with President Trump. Two House committees voted to advance the bill Thursday, early victories for the GOP leadership. They're hoping that by the time the bill comes to the floor, skeptical Republicans would rather vote in favor than vote against repealing the ACA, a core campaign promise. But record high approval ratings for the ACA and recent protests at town halls have made them fearful of a Democratic wave in 2018, putting the pressure on Ryan to keep the pressure on them.